Good evening, everybody. Welcome to York Road, the home ground of Maynard United for this evening's National League clash between the home side and Ebb's Fleet United. My name is Keith Higgins and I'll be your commentator for night, tonight's game. And I'm joined by Michael Shapiro up here in the uh, Gantry at York Road. Michael, good evening to you. Good evening to you, Keith. It's a little bit windy and there's a little bit of fine rain that's blowing right in our faces. So hopefully we'll be able to see what's going on tonight. We'll have a look at the uh, form of the two teams shortly, but let's just start with the changes to each side. Starting with the away team, Ebbsfleet, they make five changes from the side that lost 1-0 at home to Hartlepool United on Saturday. Um, Mustafa Olaganji, Amari Sterling-James, Craig Tanner, Ben Chapman and Rakic Bingham all come in with Luke O'Neill, Tony Edser, Billy Clifford, Darren McQueen and Dominic Samuel dropping out. O'Neill, Clifford and Samuel are on the bench. In contrast, Maynard United, who have actually not played uh, since uh, January the 6th, a 0 0 draw against uh, Bromley here at York Road. They just make one change from that starting lineup, and it's a straight shot swap. Sean Mikulski comes into the starting lineup up front, and Chan Kazimba drops to the bench. Chance of, I think, Red Army from behind the goal as the corner comes in. Oh, that was a good header there, and well saved by Craig Ross at the uh, near post. Get Mikulski going, but uh, Wenlock was there first. Recent signing from Mitzwich Town. And Josh Wright calmly gives the ball to Skira. And a long way forward, Reece Smith bounces off him. And a good shot by uh, Skira there. Straight to Craig Ross, but uh, first 10 minutes, and Ross has had two important saves to make, Michael. Smith tries it but uh, gets a little bit too underneath it and he goes over the bar. But first chance for Maidenhead, uh, as I said, coming up to the halfway mark in the first half. But uh, yeah, well, once he let go, you could see it was going to dip over the bar, couldn't you, uh, Michael? Yeah, it was always rising, that one. It was. It's a shame because it's a squandered opportunity. It's, gr it's a great position, that free kick. You couldn't put the ball down in a better place, I don't think, to take a free kick. Oh, loose pass. Uh, by Cissé and Nathaniel George will pick it up on the far side. He's got into the penalty area. Can he get the ball away? No, he can't. Kane Fernand, though, helps tidy up. Beckwith gets a low cross in. Clear by Olin Ganju. Uh, Sterling James fancies his chances from here. Must be a good 35 yards. He does fancy his chances. And it was a great shot and a good save by Ross. Did superbly well. Come back for a comment from Michael in a minute as he watches Cesare tries to break forward and uh, halfway inside the half there, attacking to our right. Nathaniel Jules with a shot, it's a bar! 40 yards out. Cracking shot by Ashley Nathaniel Jules that uh, had the fans on their feet and he does well to win the ball back and he's been fouled. Skira will try and play the ball away, but Mikulski will he get there before Alan Ganju? Will Smith get there? Barrett. Smith. Low cross. Ball Mikulski has cleared off the line. And he's been cleared by the defence. Trying to work out who cleared the ball off the line there. So Cousins was beaten, but a good defending by Ebsfleet. They're breaking forward now. Tanner. See, so checking forward, but the uh, ball should be clear, but only finds Josh Wright. Chapman. See, so turning. Uh, Cousins didn't seem to be anywhere, and the goal seemed to be gaping. And then, uh, sorry, I didn't identify the defender was, but he seemed to get on there very quickly as. Craig Ross had to come and punch for that uh, under a little bit of pressure, but got the clearance, but cannot pick the loose ball up and he uses acceleration to get past Barrett, and he has got past Barrett. Gets the ball in the penalty area. Polian, shot got blocked there. I think Locko did a good job, and although it was uh, a stretch for Ross. into the penalty area. Not dealt with. Pets it with the shot. Oh, it's a post. He beat Cousins there and it looked like it was just going to creep in. He might have got a little touch on it, the goalkeeper. And if he did, that was enough to deflect it on the post. But twice now, Maynard hit the woodwork and uh, Pettit's so unlucky there, Michael. 
Um, I don't know how that stayed out. The minute it left his boot, I just thought that was in. Mascara breaking forward. Had a couple of good chances in the first half, the young defender on loan from Wickham. And a nearly a chance there as uh, Massey had to block there. I think it was Tanner who was sliding in, and Massey had to equally slide across and do the block. Referee jogs around, finally decides it's time to take the free kick. Not the best of free kicks by Pettit, and uh, we'll be careful here, mate, now, because a good chance for Tanner to break forward. He's got Chapman with him. Ben Chapman, player of the year for Ebbsfleet last year. Just right. Sterling James with a good shot. That I think was going just wide, but uh, they're finding him difficult to contain. But at the moment, they're containing him outside the danger areas. He hasn't quite got into the areas where he can cause real problems. But let's see what Beckwith can do with this free kick. Was that handball there? It wasn't as Pettit tries to curl it, but he curls it over the bar. Well played by Reece Smith there, because it was an awkward knockdown from Mikulski. But again, they can't pick the loose ball. They do pick the loose ball up. Is Reece Smith tries the shot? Good save by your cousins. Keep their way out the bottom four, but um, I suppose you know a point's better than none. Yeah, I think Edgefleet will be happier with the point. Sterling James, Polian. Bingham, got a bit of space, from Skera. Ball's gone out for a corner. Mitchell Lawson. Nice turn by Beckwith. Mitchell Lawson, they've got in the way a little bit. Barrett on the far side, he's got Azare for a cross. Good cross and Zimba gets his head on the ball, but uh, couldn't direct it goalwards. <laughs> it's... Uh, yeah, there's not been that many chances over the last sort of five or so minutes, and it's it's sort of well, the Zimba one was a chance, but uh, there's nothing at the moment. But as I said, you just feel that there is something here, and Cisse moving forward, that might be the case. Domi on the ball, young substitute, trying to find a bit of space. He's managed to get the ball in the penalty area, and it's there. A fleet have scored. But Domi just working his way through and managed to get the ball through and I think it was uh, just Samuel. trying to work out with the scorers. It's Dominic Samuel, Samuel yeah. I think. And I think what a good manager I am if that happens. Mitchell Lawson on the ball. Tries to dead the ball through. Jimba on the ball. Was he impeded? He gets the ball back, but there's nobody there. Nobody gambled. His way down on the far side. I don't think I picked up a physics book for since I left school, don't <laughs> Let's just watch as Pettit will run forward, tries to get Nathaniel George on the ball, and he will get the ball now. Nathaniel George. Edgefleet are back in numbers as he jinks and turns, but he'll find Beckwith. Beckwith with a low cross. And coming in at the near post was Pettit, but he wasn't quite, he just couldn't quite turn it round. Massey will chip it to Barrett. Barrett's got to get the ball in the penalty area, but uh, not his best cross, and it's easily cleared. And I think the referee's going to blow the final whistle now, and he does. Well, you said earlier, Michael, only one goal will be needed to win it, and it's gone to the away side. Made at United nil, absolutely United won. Yeah, and it's the same old story. <laughs>